Welcome to the People of Yes website and church planting dashboard. The dashboard serves as a tool for church planters and for those who coach church planters who want to see their gatherings, cells, and congregations grow and multiply. The dashboard provides proven guidelines, useful observations, and testing materials provided by experienced church planters. Let us take a look at the dashboard. Click here. The dashboard consists of five main menus that correspond to the development of a typical church planting movement. We like to compare the dashboard to a menu that you might find in a restaurant. Such a menu might have five sections corresponding to times of the day, early breakfast dishes, mid-morning brunch dishes, midday lunch dishes, afternoon tea dishes, and evening supper or dinner dishes. Of course, customers may choose from any of the five sections according to their need. These five phases correspond generally to a typical progression within church planting. We have chosen to call these overlapping phases Plan to Multiply, Activate Your Team, Gather New Believers, Train New Overseers, and Manage the Movement. When you are coaching church planters, you might ask each one, in which of these five phases are your team members in their church planting work? Then listen to the reply and go to the phase that corresponds to each one's expressed need. Each of these five phases contains several church planting activities. When coaching church planters, they and you together will look for activities that their gathering cells or churches should implement or start practicing together. Suppose a church planter replied, We have begun to gather new believers. How can we help them experience the reality of Jesus in their midst? In this case, you would come to the third phase, gather new believers. Then look over the available activities. In this case, we would click on the activity labeled let folk experience Jesus' power and presence. So click on the activity. This activity opens to another page that has two main parts, one on its left side and the other on its right side. On the left side appear one or more guidelines with explanations. You should discuss together these guidelines and how to implement any of them in a way that suits their gatherings culture, and needs. Next, plan together with your team members or apprentice overseers which parts they will implement immediately in their gathering cells or congregations. On the right side of the page, there appear more resources to help apprentice leaders implement the guidelines. These include links to other learning materials, many of which consist of short, dramatic skits that members themselves can perform during their worship. Now let us summarize how to employ the People of Yes Church Planting Dashboard. You will find these steps listed in the video description below. Step 1. Ask the Holy Spirit to give His wisdom to you and to your apprentices for immediate application. Step 2. Listen carefully to your apprentices as they report on the urgent learning needs of their gatherings, cells, and churches. Step 3. Open the dashboard and locate which one of the five phases deals with your apprentices' group's needs. Step 4. Inside that phase, open an activity that relates to the same need. Step 5. Discover guidelines discussed on the left side of the activity page. Step 6. Consult resources found on the right side of the activity page. Step 7. Plan with your apprentices how they will implement immediately those guidelines that correspond to their group's urgent needs. Step 8. Assign to each apprentice those resource documents that will best help him implement his agreed plan. Step 9. 
practice together any skills that each apprentice must learn in order to lead their groups and to teach the same skills to new leaders. And step 10, spend time together interceding in behalf of each apprentice's gatherings, cells, and congregations.